Saving Private Ryan is without a doubt one of the most well-known World War II movies ever. Hundreds, if not thousands of videos online have been made covering every detail of the film, including the famous beach landing. Today though, we will be focusing on the several armored vehicles included within the film, more particularly the mock-ups used to stand in for German tanks. The ones most of you likely would remember are the mock-up Tigers, but they are also accompanied by two tank destroyers. The first of these is this vehicle, known as the Martyr III, and of the three, this one is the most accurate. The Martyr III was a German tank destroyer built on the Panzer 38T chassis and armed with a 75mm main gun. Over the course of its production, there were several variations which you are likely to see, with earlier vehicles being more crudely constructed than the later ones. The one we see in the movie is the later style, referred to as the Martyr III Ausf M. From what I can find, this vehicle was reportedly an original chassis, but the hull was rebuilt for the film. Despite this, it still gives us a realistic portrayal of the vehicle, and an especially realistic look at what happens to an open-topped vehicle if used in an urban environment. With the next vehicle, we find what at first appears to be a similar looking design to the Martyr III we already saw. In reality though, this is the first of the mock-up tanks, with it actually being a Swedish-built tank destroyer. Known as the SAV M43, this tank destroyer was built by Sweden in 1944. Comparing the movie vehicle and an original one side by side, we can clearly see that the outline of the vehicle was altered by removing some of the parts on the roof, as well as additional plates on the sides of the superstructure. When combined with the mock-up German 75mm, this does create a fairly convincing martyr stand-in and likely most who watch the movie will not even notice. This is helped by the fact that both the Martyr III and SAV M43 share basically the same chassis with the two vehicles being based on a Czechoslovakian medium tank design. Last but certainly not least, we reach the most iconic vehicle of the movie in the form of the Tiger. Two of these tanks are depicted in the film, with one being destroyed through use of sticky bombs and grenades, and the other being taken out at the end of the movie by close air support. Both of these vehicles are actually Soviet-built T-34s, which were heavily modified to recreate the German heavy tank. The dead giveaway on these is really the tracks and running gear, as they look completely different from the much more complicated layout of the Tiger. Reportedly, the dimensions for these mock-ups were taken directly from the real Tiger in the Tank Museum's collection. Though true tank enthusiasts easily spot the slight differences in size and positioning of the vehicle, these mock-ups are certainly well done and serve their job well as stand-ins. Keep in mind, none of this is to take away from the amazing film that Saving Private Ryan is. Sourcing real tanks for any film is not easy, especially when those vehicles are German tanks. Many of those that remain are either not in running condition or are too valuable to risk damaging for the purposes of a film. After all, you can't exactly go down to the local car parts store and order a replacement part if you end up breaking something. No, the T-34 Tigers are perfectly acceptable for the role, especially when so skillfully disguised as the real-world counterpart. But that's just my opinion. Let me know yours in the comments down below. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, if you did be sure to leave a like and maybe check out some more of the Fake Tank Friday playlist. As always, a huge thanks to my YouTube members for supporting my content. That's all I have for you today though, so either go check out one of my other videos on your screen now, or I'll see you in my next video.